In this video, I wanted to showcase the DRV6, oh, DRV8833. Uh, that's the smallest motor controller board I have. Uh, it's good for a B polar or any polar stepper and a B directional so for both directions. So again, the same principle, you can use analog right or digital right. So digital right just for direction of motors using ILO pins uh, and uh, analog right to use pulse with modulation. So one thing to remember when you're playing around with control, uh, motor controller, you always use the pin that is high uh, for pulse with modulation. So it's really easy. Uh, let's say if you do a sketch first digital, you have to set a motor's the motor's direction high, low, low, high to spin on a specific direction. So if you revisit that sketch and you see the pin that was high, this is the one uh, that you will apply pulse width modulation. And you'll see that in the sketch. It'll be in the link description and you'll be able to access uh, all other sketches as well as the, I did another one just for digital. Um, so this one here is for smaller motors or same as the L9110 motor driver, but this one can take up to 1.2 amperes mm -hmm. per channel and you get, get up to full uh, two amperes uh, full peak, like uh, just for a brief moment. Um, they say it's a dual H bridge, uh, but I think it, they mean four half bridge. Uh, for this for this uh, motor controller and the voltage is different this one is 2.7 uh, 2.7 to 10.8 volt so using the joystick full half The response is good. Left. Just I saw a problem here. I oh, don't no. right. So that was the DRV8833 motor controller, dual H bridge, using pulse with modulation, just with the joystick. Uh, I didn't build a sketch with the pot yet, so that's upcoming. But that's my smallest motor controller board. Really easy to uh, manipulate and use.